All right, here is the update on how I look at 265. My pump is fading, but we are coming back this year, boys. Castration comeback has to start somewhere. What's up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please like this video. I'm going to be trying to do as many daily vlogs as possible documenting this comeback. I want the channel to go in this direction. And I'm really hoping you guys support by liking and commenting stupid shit. Whatever you want to comment. Comment what you need me to do for you to like the video. Something ridiculous. I need to document this comeback. And I need to put myself out there in vlog format to well you know when you do sodium valprate your personality is going to change a little bit right so i'm just going to be documenting that you can compare after castration russo to before castration russo and yeah i'm excited to get this rolling you know this is my new year's i'm not even going to say resolution this is what i'm doing into the new year's i said i was going to vlog here i am doing at the end right Oh, I just wanted to show what I look like as far as how I'm feeling each day is just, I wake up less dead inside each day. I'll just say it like that. You know, when I say 95% to 97% recovery means like, you know, I can have sex normally, screaming orgasms normally. I can lift weights, get a pump. I can listen to music, jam out. I can enjoy dopamine. Like these are all things I couldn't do last year and I couldn't walk last year. So that, that's where it's like, yeah, I'm almost there. But for me to be 100%, it's like, okay, these legs need to fully turn back on. They're still slightly numb and asleep. And I need to be able to squat 405 for reps and easy volume. So until that happens, I'm not 100%, but, you know, I already shot the cure video. I hope that guys helps you. I hope that helps you guys out. And, yeah, this is about me, this channel now. I want to showcase this blast back, what I look like as far as my legs. I injected them with L-choline and L-carnitine. This just takes a shit ton of aloe to expand these leg muscles. And they still aren't turning over themselves. I've been trying to load more and more weight on them, but it's been very difficult. So I will be documenting a hybrid leg day. We'll see what I'm doing today. I wanted to get some scale weigh-ins for you guys, though. All right, so this is the before AC after castration. I think my genetics changed. I've never been this hairy in my life. Like, my back hair is fucking weird. And, yeah. This is how much I weigh. No bullshit. I know everyone doesn't believe me. Oh, my God. 259.8. So, yeah, I'll have Carolyn show this weird back hair. I never had that after the dihydro bone on. And then, like, I guess this arm is better. Like, weird. <laughs> weird hairs are just right there. But this is how I look. All right, so that's the tubby update. This is the starting point. As far as like my goal is like, I'd like to hit 270 pounds just to say I did hit 270 pounds, but I don't know if that's really worth going up there. No, I'm already pretty fat, but my insulin resistance isn't that bad. And that's where I'm like, seems like my genetics are changed because I've never looked like this at 260 ever. And I was just recently at 260 and the first time i got the 260 was pretty fucking sloppy so i have feathering in my shoulders striations 
not on a ton of shit. I'm cruising on Sustin on HCG, HMG, and I'm going to be adding in some compounds today, but we're going to get to the first meal. They can hear. All right, so I'm going to be showing the food. Actually, let's, let's go to the fridge. I'm going to the fridge. I know I'm a fat ass. I'm trying to get to 270 pounds. I also couldn't taste anything last year for half the year. So I did taking this blast seriously. Boom. There's your evidence. I'll be eating some of these meals today, but I wanted some, you know, wow. Cairo didn't bark. This is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted something that I didn't have to reheat. So my girl went and got me food and coffee. So leveled up above Tristan Tate here. I just didn't get coffee. I got fucking food and I'm trying to get fucking big here. So Southwest omelet, breakfast burrito, and I'm going with French toast. This is what the bloat lord thrives on. I wasn't even bloated last year. I was a cancer patient, so I'm excited to be bloated again. But I'm for real going to be recompos <clears throat> recompositioning. So don't expect me to stay up here this long. I do want to get to around 245, but until my strength comes back, I'm in no rush to move down in weight. And by strength, I mean particularly, like I can bend my legs, Again, this was hard to do for months, is fully bend my legs. And then I can fully get in the squat. But like at the bottom, this feels too tight. And when I was a wrestler, I could sit deeper than this. If I sit deeper than this, it feels like I'm going to tear my shit. Right, Gusto? Sit down. As you can see, my dog is so obedient. Anyways, I don't know what happened after that one. Look at this asshole. Give me my sock back. Thank you. No. Fucking tearing up my socks. What was I even fucking talking about? Oh, yeah, before the fucking hippopotamus himself interrupted me. Yeah, I'm waiting for that to fully come back. So I have to load weight on my legs without tearing my legs. When I go all the way to the bottom, it's still feel my legs are gonna tear. I almost tore my quad. I tore like, I minorly tore my quad, like a strand right here or some shit, riding that motorcycle the one day months ago. And that was like the first couple of days I could actually walk the whole day. I was like super excited, but yeah, that's where I'm at until those legs come back and I can put four plates or at least three plates and a 25 on and back squat it. I don't really want to lose weight. I'd rather just wait here, build more muscle. And this is the starting point before the blast. So I look like that before I start blasting. This how it doesn't make any sense. I really do think the sodium valparate changed my genetics because when I was using the sodium valparate, all my DNA was open like a gene switcher, the RNA part of the DNA, the part of the DNA that can change. So the variables, it's nature versus nurture. So the nurture variables were wide open. And then I blasted grams and grams and grams and grams of dihydrobolinone. I definitely think my genes are sitting somewhere else. My personality by the end of this might be somewhere else. We might be seeing Alpha Russo at the end of this bullshit. This is all what I wanted to document. This is why I have to do this right now. Like I have to put my persona out right now because each day I just like, I'm just changing and changing and changing. Obviously I have a girlfriend who I've dated for 11 years who's really good at spelling me into how I used to be. So I do have that cheat code going for me. But this needs to be documented because if you rec if you copy this recovery protocol, I mean, you're never going to be the same after being castrated like that. But you definitely, if you're doing the Valparate, could change your person could change your personality for the better. And that's like kind of what Leo and Longevity was so obsessed about. Like he would ignore all the horrendous side effects and the dangers of it 
where you could reprogram a trauma out of your life technically, or you could reprogram your social anxiety technically. Like there's a lot of nuances of sodium valparate, but everyone who messages me who's used it, it's ruined their life. It shrunk their brain, lowered their IQ. They all fucking hate it. But if you use it temporarily, temporarily to open up your RNA, you can fix stuff. You can fix a lot of issues with your personality that are happening from nurture. These deep childhood related traumas that create these set points in your neurochemistry that can be reset. That's not what I used it for. I use it to reset androgen receptor expression. But it also fucked with all that other shit while I was fixing one thing because I had nothing selective to target that androgen gene. So, yeah, I'm gonna eat this food and we're going to get ready to go to the gym. Dude, it's CNS. Adaptation set. This is for bodybuilding. Show you how I'm trying to recover. Relax. It's causing my CNS to freak out. this set after doing the belted set CNS is already torched just gonna give it a look like I want my CNS used to moving this type of extreme weight which is not extreme but this is all they have here faster tempo starting to pull from my legs my legs are starting to get numb so I'm just gonna give my body a couple more cues on the CNS control the negative or contract Oh. 
that's a common mistake. Yeah, we got it. So this is a lot of progress. Like I still have a lower back pump, which is very rewarding because I haven't had one of those in a fucking year, even though I've lifted every fucking day. So the fact that I can still maintain that pump is a good sign. Get you to hold that on my tendons. All right, here is the update on how I look at 265. My pump is fading, but we are coming back this year, boys. Castration comeback has to start somewhere. This isn't a bad starting point. I have a lot of mass. It's just pretty slop. The goal is to look good around 220 pounds, if anyone is wondering. I don't want to sit up here. I don't feel good or mobile or anything. I also have no, I'm like, I need a posing coach and shit. So this year I'm getting it all under control. And the way I'm going to do it is you guys hold me fucking accountable for this shit. So I'm just going to upload as much as I can and force the refinement at this point. Seems like my traps have come back. I'm just waiting on these fucking legs. Like my legs are fucking numb. Like I can still pose my legs here. I'm firing my leg too, so I'm using aloe in my legs. And then TMI, but my flaccid hangs better. Like it would be micro normally after. So this is all just like proof I actually healed myself to all the fucking naysayers saying I didn't. I look very much back to normal. This is around 96%, but. You guys saw how I used to work out. I used to do like five sets of the 125s, then hammer tons of accessories and shit. Nowhere near that, but we are moving in the right direction. And you guys are here for me, this journey. You know, I just, I need you guys here for me at this point. And so that was a workout. I didn't record all the workout because first day, you know, there's nothing fancy that I'm doing. I'm literally trying to get better and just show my central nervous system, you know, new weights, new rep scheme. I have to be wary. I can't overdo it or I could tear something like there is a point of no return. I can't go too far. It's been this horrible, slow yo-yo and yeah, my volume isn't there. I literally can't do the volume. So that's why i'm sitting up at this weight i'm waiting for my strength to come back particularly my legs and i'm not in any fucking hurry to fucking cut so i do want to recomp i'm gonna be adding in more stuff to my cycle so you can comment what cycle you guys want to see i'm gonna see the comments but i'm eating a prep meal mega fit meals burrito bowl and then I'm finishing off my breakfast burrito that I did not finish. My appetite is slowly coming back, but remember I am cruising right now, guys. I'm on 300 to 350 sustenance a week, and then I'm on tons of HCG. So that's where the bloat is from is the HCG. I'm doing like a vial, two vials a week. And then I'm doing HMG a vial, vial a week. You know, that high of a dosage for the neurosteroid cascades, as well as I'm literally just cruising, preparing to blast again and to shut all the haters up. Appreciate you guys sticking with me for the first video. These will get better over time.